Hey guys, what up? It's Kristen. Um, so this is going to kind of be a video um, in response to Nicole Arbor's fat shaming video. Um, I'm sure everyone has heard of it by now. Um, I wasn't going to make a video at first because I just, uh, honestly, when I first started seeing things online about it and started um, hearing about it, I really didn't know what it was about. Um, it just seems like every day there's something else about fat shaming or just something shaming someone else in particular. Um, so I just kind of was like, whatever. But the more and more I started hearing about it, the more and more I was like, all right, I have to find out what this is all about myself. So um, I watched the video and um, it's been a while, it's been like almost a week since it was posted and then YouTube took it down and then I guess it, it went back up and blah, 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 a lot of controversy about it. Um, first of all, uh, I watched one of her video responses, which I thought was kind of funny that she was like, you know, and all you people that are, um, you know, responding to my video and using my name as a hashtag, that's great. I hope you're getting lots of followers and, you know, whatever. But I thought it was kind of funny because um, her whole thing is fat shaming, which is a really popular big hashtag right now itself. So I kind of have a feeling that Nicole um, made a video about fat shaming so that she could get more viewers and get more attention, which she did. Um, and, you know, having watched the video myself, it's not just a disgusting video about people that are overweight, but she kind of throws in some things in there that I think are really disgusting in a few ways. Um, like she talks about race cards, she talks about gay cards, um, like gay cards should come with glitter. And honestly, I'm huge rights for everyone. And uh, pretty much 90% of all my really close friends are gay and homosexual. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, so that was just like off the bat, I was like, okay. And the more I watched, the more I was just really disgusted. And I'll tell you a few reasons why. The way that she's packaging herself and the way that she's coming off with her blonde hair and her big blue eyes and she's all cute and you know, whatever. Let's not like underestimate how vile the, the things that she's spewing just the hatred that's coming out. So the fact that it's coming out of this really cute package makes viewers want to watch it. It makes people want to click on it. Um, it's spreading that, that just, it's just negativity into the world. And I just, it's just so weird to me in a day and age where we're so accepting of other people. Like I was just watching I Am Kate, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, we're so upset, we're so uh, able to just be accepting of, of other people and their life choices and who they wanna be and who they are. And, you know, I just think that it's really weird that this is still going on, that fat shaming is even a thing. Um, now, to kind of rewind a little bit, to be honest with you guys, I've never been a person that has been like hashtag body positivity um, only because I never was body positive and you know it's it's hard for me to say that but I don't think that anyone that considers weight loss surgery I don't think anyone is going to be legitimately body positive if you have in the back of your head like that you want to have weight loss surgery it's probably difficult to have body positivity or just be positive about your body. Um, that being said, there are a lot of people out there that are larger and they're beautiful and they're healthy and, um, you know, they feel great about themselves and who am I to judge and who am I to knock them and who am I to say, you know, you're gross and you're disgusting and I don't even want you sitting next to me and I don't want anything to do with you and so to me it's just really hurtful that videos like that are even going around and being and being um, put into the spotlight and that's another reason why I didn't really want to film a video on it only because I feel like I'm giving more attention to it um, and you know it was my decision to watch it it's everyone's decision if you click view like that you're putting yourself through it and you're gonna watch it and that's your decision if you want to watch it and you want to hear those things. Um, but I feel that 
overweight people and obese people are put through enough as it is on a daily basis and um, I mean I see it now even more so um, like people that don't know that I've lost a lot of weight and they see me how I am now the way that they open up to me um, about large people it's really shocking um, I see a lot of discrimination um, like larger people walk by and someone be like, oh my God, they stunk. And I'm like, I didn't smell anything. I think that you're just profiling or, you know, just downright calling people fat. And it's hard because I was there at one point too. And there are a lot of things that go into it. Yes, there are people out there that just sit around and they eat a bunch of junk and they don't care. And I really feel that those people have given up on their lives and they've given up on themselves. Um, and they don't want to do anything about it and they just don't care. Um, that's not healthy. It's true. It's not healthy. Just like smoking a pack of cigarettes is not healthy. Just like uh, cosmetic surgery is not healthy. Um, just like, you know, everything um, that you do these days, it's going to be scrutinized. So, you know, now that I've lost the weight that I've lost, I am starting to see more how larger people are treated um and i see the way that i'm treated i'm treated differently now that i'm smaller and it's wrong it's 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 wrong um but to call out a certain group of people for no matter what whether it's because they're obese or whether it's because they have a different sexual orientation or because their race is different um or because they're poor um or because they're rich, you know, to call out a specific group of people and to just stay off the reasons of why you're gross and how you don't fit into our society and how, um, you know, I'm basically just going to slander you and make you feel bad about yourself to the point to where you want to change. That's not, that's not going to work. Um, you're not going to change someone by just negatively spewing hateful things to them and making them feel like, like crap about themselves. It's not going to work. Um, I don't care if you try to be funny about it. It's not funny, it's not cute, it's harmful and it's hurtful. And um, there's a lot of people out there that are already at their end as far as the torment that they go through. And to think that something like watching a video could send them over the edge really upsets me. Um, the internet is free realm and open for everyone to view and I'm sure that there's even younger people that watch these things or see these things and they see fat shaming and you know it's nothing to play around with it's nothing to play around with and so that's basically my point um, let's just all be accepting of everyone uh, everyone has to deal with their own battles everyone has to fight their own demons and um, who are we to judge and who are we to put them on display and make them feel even worse about themselves so with that being said, I'm going to log off. Um, I've stated my piece. I just uh, think that it's time that we all just learn to love and be a little more accepting. It's the year 2015 and I feel like this year we've taken a lot of steps back as far as um, the human race and as far as a, an advanced civilization. Like things that are going on in the world right now should not be happening. Um, and it's really sad. It's a really sad place to be right now. But um, thanks for watching, you guys, for all my viewers. Uh, love you guys. Y'all stay strong. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. And, um, you know, the fat shimmy thing, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. But, um, you know, just brush it off. Like, people's opinions, it doesn't matter, you know. The only opinions that matter are your own and wake up every day with a positive opinion of your life and who you are because you're amazing and you're here for a reason and don't ever forget that. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.